This year, the Norton Cancer Institute hopes to raise more than $6 million to help people in the area fight against cancer. WDRB's Amanda Roberts shows us how the Bike to Beat Cancer event is personal for one man. September 9th, hundreds of bikers are going to line up here at the starting line outside of the same building where many of them undergo cancer treatments or support a loved one through it. And when they cross the finish line here, the hope is that they will be one step or pedal closer to beating cancer. Bike to beat cancer isn't just a race for Chris Cruz and his family. It's a holiday. When this year's event ends, I'll register that day for next year's event. Because for Chris, his reason to ride is personal. I was diagnosed in 2010 with lymphoma. That was a, a difficult time. The treatment was, was difficult for me. For the next five years, he underwent radiation and chemotherapy treatment, and the treatment started working. I was really fortunate to have not only a very treatable form of cancer, but also to have a great support system. His mother, Alberta, supported him through every step in his cancer treatment. But while Chris's cancer was starting to subside, it wasn't done with his family. In 2017, his mother was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. You know, that was a time when, um, you know, she would she would contact me. We would go back and forth. You know, well, what what can I expect, and what's this going to be like, and. Um, you know, that, that connection at that point was, was really strong. The two bonded over their shared trauma and swapped stories of constantly feeling sick, appointments and treatment plans. Chris answered every single phone call, but within the year, Chris lost his biggest fan. My mom and I were, um, <clears throat> we were really close, so, um, you know, for me, that was it was difficult when she passed. It really became the bike really became a way for me to, to kind of have an outlet for that. I hope that she would be proud of that. Um, you know, I hope that she would she would understand that um, this all started with me sort of taking a, a look at my health and, and an attempt to be healthier. Chris now wears a picture of his mother and hero close to his chest while riding for a team named in her honor. My mom worked in retail for 26 years, 28 years. Um, she retired from a retail job where her clock number was 182. And so um, we call our team Team 182 because of that. For Chris, this ride is more than just raising money to beat cancer. It's a way to heal. For me, it's been therapeutic. It's, it's a way to have a, a physical challenge and to have a, uh, an avenue to, to release some of that, that grief. In Louisville with photojournalist Pete Ruiz, I'm Amanda Roberts for WDRB News. Tomorrow's ride starts at the Norton Cancer Institute off Brownsboro Road. The Survivors Parade starts at 8 in the morning right before the ride. You can sign up for rides that range from 5 to 100 miles. Visit WDRB.com for more information about how to sign up.